It's mass shootings like the one in Texas and so many others that immediately raise red flags for parents. Is my child safe in school? And to think that they're not safe is a terrifying thought to parents. But one local mother is raising that concern tonight about a school in Norfolk. Then your side's Asia Tolliver has that story for us. New tonight, Asia. Well, I spoke to a Norfolk mom who delivered food for Uber Eats to a local school. She says she was very disappointed with the security protocols in place. I also got a response from school officials who say the school staff practice diligence. A Norfolk mother is calling on school officials to tighten up security at a local elementary school. This was one day after a mass shooting, one day after kids lost their lives. What is it going to take? Amber Taylor is a food delivery driver for Uber Eats, who says she was concerned with how easily she was let in Granby Elementary School yesterday to drop off food for a staff member. So she reached out to Wavy TV 10. I pressed the buzzer, the door opened, no questions asked. Taylor claims there were no metal detectors. She wasn't patted down or asked for any identification upon entry. At a time like this, days after a mass shooting, Taylor says this is unacceptable. And the superintendent's response when I called her, because I called everybody, her response was, we take safety as priority. They knew you were coming. Did they have a picture of me? Did they have my ID? Norfolk Public Schools refutes parts of Taylor's account. A spokesperson says the teacher who ordered the food notified front staff that the driver was coming and staff watched the driver the entire time she was on campus. Officials say she rang the bell, was greeted by main office staff allowed to enter and delivered the food to the teacher who was waiting within a few feet of the door for the delivery. I'm told the exchange was captured on the school's security cameras and lasted approximately 25 seconds. MPS officials say the school staff practiced diligence. Taylor is hoping community members will take a stand with her at the next school board meeting on June 15th. The MPS spokesperson says they limit deliveries during the school day and will continue to provide ongoing training regarding school entry procedures. Now, we're also told they are working with local law enforcement to provide enhanced security at the buildings for the remainder of the school year. In the newsroom, I'm Aisha Tolliver. Turn on your side. Thank you, Aisha.